<clears throat> On the 17th of May, I decided to visit Imo State, Nigeria. No particular plan except to experience the beautiful things Imo State has to offer. Now your biggest question would be, why visit Imo State now with all the crises going on, the guns, the killings, and all the bad news the media has brought forward? And this thing that happened in a way, I'm wondering what's going on? To be honest, not knowing what could happen to me was by far the scariest of my journey. How safe is Imo State? For a female traveler, I asked myself. Regardless of the situation, I decided to face my fears, pack my bags, and travel to Imo State, Nigeria. This is the diary of a female traveler in Imo State, Nigeria. This is what it's like to be a tourist in Imo State in 2021. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the better side of life. My name is Origi. I'm an Abia State based YouTuber and for the past three months, I have literally spent that traveling solo. <laughs> this is like my own way of stepping out of my comfort zone and going out, learning people's culture and all of that good stuff. So for the next one week, I'm going to be in Imo State, creating content and um, learning about people of Imo State at large. So hopefully at the end of my vlog, you're going to be able to learn something that you've never ever heard about Imo State people in the mass media or even if anything I'm going to be telling you in my video or anything you're going to be seeing here you've actually seen or heard before, trust me, coming from my lens, it is going to be a whole different situation. So, so far so good. I have been here. I came in yesterday and I wasn't able to film any content because I just wanted to relax and enjoy the weather, okay? So, for say a month now, there has been like a little crisis going on in Imo State and last night, one of them I experienced, not necessarily experienced, okay? I had some shooting going on yesterday that really got me scared but am I going to stop filming video? No. Am I going to stop learning about emo state people? No. So I'm just going to be as careful as I can be and this vlog, I'm just going to come on here every day and update you guys what is going on with me and the travel and all of that good stuff. So hopefully, I am very very positive about this particular trip because this is like my very first official time in Imo state so i'm going to be learning a lot of things and i'm going to be taking you guys with me oh, Imo, i've heard so much about Imo state but i don't know i don't know i'm not finger cross finger cross i'm not i'm not i don't have any particular thing in mind i want to achieve other than get to know people here and learn about their culture and also get to discover things about oh i'm currently in Oweri by the way so yeah um i hope you are excited about this week three because me myself i am super excited about it and i can't wait to find out all the beautiful things about emo uh yeah <laughs> This is it. This is this is me basically ranting and trying to update you guys what has been going on with me. So, and I feel like why I'm making this video again is because I feel like I have not spent enough time, you know, interacting with you guys up personal. We've not been I've not been able to create the content that has just been personal. It has just been content about over hair and all of that good stuff. So hopefully, I'm back to making this type of content. I'm back to having a chit chat with you guys and you know connecting a little bit on another level <laughs> so if this is your first time coming across my channel you might as well want to subscribe to my channel and giving this video a big fat thumbs up and letting me know what you think about my other content and also i'm going to be linking a playlist to uh Oweri or Imo State vlogs up here somewhere here and i'm sure you would love that so make sure you check that out uh i'll see you tomorrow bye not bye but i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> So guys, my second day in Imo State, I actually visited the Nekedi Zoo. If you haven't seen that video, it's going to be 
I'm going to leave a link in the description box. You would want to check that out because I actually did a very detailed tour around the Nekedi Zoo. With that being said, so the first day in Imo State, I actually spent 7,200 Naira on transportation filming one video and that was way beyond my budget. And I decided to show you guys the means of transportation in Imo State and get the experience myself and also save costs for myself so this video now you're going to just watch a little bit of the filming i did in emo state me getting into one transportation to the other bike and all of that good stuff trust me it was a beautiful experience and also i spent less okay instead of me spending seven thousand naira, ten thousand naira, i actually ended up spending only one thousand naira, going to where i needed to go to and coming back and which was a very good considering i'm traveling on a budget Okay, I'm just going to let you enjoy this beautiful clip I actually shot and see how beautiful Owe is. Obviously, I'm having the best time of my life. Okay, enjoy. So guys, on my third day in Imo State, I got tired of the beautiful houses, you know, the fancy hotels, the restaurants and all of that. And I wanted to have rural feeling, so I took a trip to Ubota. The video is already up by now, so check out the link in the description box. You're going to get all the beautiful information I discovered in that village. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So this is day three of my stay in Imo State and um, i decided to do something different for you all today's video i'm going to or today rather i'm going to be going to ogota and not just the lake i really really want to spend time there and get to find out everything i can find out you know the craziest thing about traveling is that you don't know what to expect you don't know who to meet you don't know how it's going to turn out you know it's, it's really very overwhelming to know that there might just be someone out there waiting for you to harm you you know so finger crossed said my prayers and i know that everything is going to fall in place for me and um yeah that's that's basically all okay yeah so since yesterday the shooting has still been going on and of course yes i'm staying safe and i just wanted to hop in here and update you guys i genuinely hope you're enjoying my um emo content if you are give me a thumbs up or let me know in the comment section please let me know how you feel about me being in emo state as of this time with all the crisis going on i still feel like they, there's something out there there's something out there to still see so that is what i'm out to discover today so i'm going to another region and um i don't know how it's going to be i have nothing planned out per se i'm just <laughs> that person being put for right at this point so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow see you tomorrow see you tomorrow
so guys i ended up spending only five days in emo state and believe me when i say i had an amazing time i learned a lot of things and yes i got to okoda safely and yes my trip was beautiful at first i got scared because the um boys at the riverside almost attacked me but trust me i was good i finally got myself a tour guide and you can see me licking my mango i'm feeling good okay <laughs> so i had so much fun and if you haven't checked out my emo state series brah what are you waiting for you need to check that out i've literally come to the end of this video i hope you had fun enjoying this video and i hope you felt how i felt during my five days in emo state i love you guys so much for your support if you got to this point in this video give me a shout out in the comment section let me pin your comment because you are my real g i love you guys so much thank you for all you do thank you for all your support thank you for always being here and thank you for watching me grow because we are going to get better if you have anything you want me to add in my editing please endeavor to let me know in the comment section because without your comments we're never going to ever go in this channel so thank you so much i appreciate you guys so so very much i'll see you in my next video bye